Hey, welcome to day 200, or excuse me, <laughs> 332. Um, we are way past the 200s. Um, so I just want to make two awesome points today for you. And uh, hopefully you've been getting a lot out of this as we uh, come down to our last month. Going to be a little bit, a few more days yet. But let's get at how we should be, okay? Um, I'm as guilty as anybody else who who uh, looks down on other people or belittles people or makes fun of people. I've done it all um, and, uh, and received plenty myself. Um, and I've learned lots in, in these days. And hopefully you've learned a lot in these lessons with how we should be. Number one, we're free. Number, two, number one, we're chosen. Number one, we're free because of Jesus Christ. And because of that, it brings us to these two points. First of all, in chapter 15, 1 through 2, it said, for, uh, this is Romans 15, 1 through 2. We who are strong must be considerate, we got to be considerate, of those who are sensitive about things like this. We must not just please ourselves. We should help others do what is right and build them up in the Lord. So a new believer, think about it, doesn't know what we've learned this year. Um, a new believer is, is still kind of set in their ways. So we need to be considerate of that. Not just be some fire hose just drenching them with the Lord's knowledge and, and all of our vast experience. And don't do this and don't do this and don't do that and, and make sure you're doing it this way. And um, it just pushes people away. And we're so eager to help people who are new believers because we just want them to know what we know and what we've learned. And the fact remains, we've got to be considerate of how new they are. And as a teacher, you can't just flood them with information um, or hand them a book and say, hey, here's all the knowledge you need. You, you have to come alongside your student um, or the person that's in front of you and let them lead the conversation. Let them ask the questions because in their minds, in their own experiences, God is, is guiding them to where he wants them to go, which may be different than where he had you go. They have different gifts than you. So you have to be patient and considerate of those things. Um, it's hard as a teacher sometimes because you really just want to give the information to them. Uh, but it is always best to answer their questions and allow them to find their own way. Uh, and they will get there. Um, with guidance, you don't, you don't, you know, don't just throw them a life raft and be like, okay, you're on your own, and then you speed on your way. Don't do that. Remember this. This is the last point, verse seven of chapter fifteen. Therefore, accept each other just as Christ has accepted you, so that God will be given the glory. Remember, once you were accepted before you knew anything. You, your worthless, undeserved self was accepted by God because of what Christ did. You didn't deserve it. I didn't deserve it. And we are accepted the way we were. And we are still learning and finding our way and getting our questions answered. So be patient with new believers and especially with people who don't believe. Because there was a time where we didn't believe or we may have grown up with it and really not understood everything that was being told to us um, and then there came a day a realization where I was like wait a second I do believe what I've been told here I I need God I need this and it was before you even realized you need it that it was given to you you were chosen you're special you're wonderful and, and you didn't deserve it, and neither do they. And because you received it, you know, offer it to them. And that's what today's lesson is really all about. And it has everything to do with the end. So once we get to the end, there'll be people who just refuse to, to listen. But there will be those who are hungry for it and learn it. That's the beauty of the end times, is that there is a division. Remember, Christ came to divide, to separate those on their way to destruction from those who were chosen. And
and we are getting closer and closer to that time. That should be something that you listen to, and that's your day 332. I'll see you tomorrow.